I couldn't help notice that when you were describing the uh, the roles that roll up to you, uh, economic analysis, you used to be a director of that, uh, information right. technology, you used to be the CIO, uh, you are the first person uh, to hold this uh, set of responsibilities, as you noted. Uh, to what extent was your past experience in these other roles, uh, did it sort of bring you, bring you the perspective that there was value in bringing all this together to, to have it uh, work perhaps in a more concerted effort than, than it had traditionally been the case? You know, I think one of the things that, that really I got seasoned on, well, I'll speak of that from two perspectives, one from the finance, the CFO role perspective, and one from the director of economic analysis role. Um, I've always felt that that a, a strong source of our, our IP, our uh, competitive advantages could come through how we understand and use data. That, that, that really got ingrained in me uh, you know, 15, 15 years ago. And so I, I really wanted that to be a much stronger component of the organization. And, and really when we, when we rolled in the economic analysis group uh, into ArcWest Technologies five years ago, the group was 20, you know, 18 to 20 people. Today, that group is, is over 100 people, 50 direct employees, and 50 um, that we work with through partners, um, through one primary partner um, in sourcing that talent. And so that's been a, a phenomenal uh, change because really the, their, their work product is being absorbed by all the other areas across the traditional information technology groups across R&D. So that's been a very strong um, add. The other thing I'd say on the CFO role is I really wanted to change the way we looked at the technology budget. I wanted to bifurcate it. And, and so today, the view is that we have a very strong view, a very good view of how much of our tech spend is, is what we call just run the business, keep the lights on spend. And um, and then how much of it is going toward, uh, you know, systems development, R&D and other things. And I want to treat wanted to treat that budget like a portfolio and have it very tightly aligned to our strategy and to the initiatives of the company. And we've been very successful on that. And so when you look at that, that spend, which is about 45 percent of our total tech spend, it's aligned to every initiative on our strategy map. It's got a um, ROI a component hypothesis. It's got project management resources. It's got executive sponsorship, tactical leadership assigned. And, and, and we evaluate all of those through, a, through an investment committee that meets uh, on a regular basis to understand that portfolio of investments and how they're, how they're trending and how they're paying off and how they're progressing. And so when I think about ArcBest Technologies, it's, it's yes, one part infrastructure run the business, but it's very much uh, a portfolio of technology investments.